Hello guys, today we're gonna learn how to create this nice animation in Blender. So in order to create this animation, first off I'll create a new text. Now I chose the numbers, the number 30, so it's, um, it's a 3 and an O uh, separately. The reason I'm, I, I will create separate texts is because I don't want them to behave as one object, I want them to behave as two different objects the object 3 and the object 0. So uh, I'll go to the 0 in a minute. Right now, just this 3 one, I'm gonna rotate it, go to the A, uh, the text tab, geometry. I'll extrude this a bit and also bevel this just a bit, not too much. Second thing I'm gonna do is right click, set origin, origin to geometry. Now I'm just gonna bring this to the middle up here, duplicate this and change this by pressing tab and changing this to zero. Now we have two cool objects centered. The next thing I'm gonna do is create a ground that can observe the impact. Um, and I'm gonna enable in the physics tab collision to the ground. Now before we go on, we need to make these guys mesh. So uh, a mesh object. So I'm just gonna press both of them, right click and convert to mesh. Now, as you can see, they both have vertices and everything. If you want, you can press A, Control Shift and change this to tries to quads, which deletes some of the vertices. I know some of you guys will just want to enable soft body or cloth to the numbers itself themselves, but I found it um, a bit awkward with the animation. I found it better to just make a simpler uh, object and to bind these numbers to the object so they will behave as the, the simpler object. I'll just explain everything in a minute. First thing I'm gonna do is create a simple object. The object will be cube. I'm gonna bring this up here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go to the object tab here visibility and uncheck show in render what it does is basically it means that when you render this when you render this it will not show in the render in the final render as you can see you can see the numbers here but you can't see the box itself because we unchecked it so i'm gonna go to the object tab again to viewport display and change textured to wire I'm gonna center the box. Now I want each number to have its own box. So we'll start with this number, number three. Now, don't try to make it too accurate to the sizes of the number because uh, it will make problems with the animations. Only try to make it um, right in the bottom where the impact will be, okay? Again, as you can see, I give it a little margins. I'm gonna go to edit mode by pressing tab and subdivide this a couple of times. And now I'm gonna go here to the physics tab and enable soft body. Uncheck goal and press play. As you can see, the object falls to the ground and breaks. We don't want this. So we'll go to the edges tab and go with bending up to two probably should be enough yep and the animation looks pretty good this is what i wanted you can also play with the other uh, uh numbers here uh, for the sake of this tutorial i will not go into it we'll just go bending up to two and that's enough for this tutorial now i want this uh, box and the other number to have the same box so i'm just gonna duplicate this and bring it here and now we have two different boxes following at the same time. Now, the problem is that as you can see, the numbers themselves don't follow the path of those boxes. Um, so in order to enable this, I'm gonna press one of these numbers, go to the modifiers tab and add something called mesh deform. I'm gonna choose the object as the box itself of the specific number, and then I'm gonna press bind. What it does, it tells Blender to match the movement and animation and physics of the cube to the number itself. And now when I press play, you can see the number behaves like the cube. Okay, pretty cool, right? Now, I want it to be on the, the other number as well. So you can press this and this if you want. 
can press this and this, control C, copy modifiers, or you can just choose this from the start and this way, mesh deform. And be sure to check the right, choose the right cube, okay? If you copy the modifier from this one, so the modifier will still stick with this cube, you need to change it to this one's cube, okay? It's really important. And don't forget to press bind, okay? So now when you play this, you see both of these numbers act the same. Um, and now the only thing that's left to do is to choose a right angle and some lighting maybe. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed guys. And if you did, be sure to like this video, comment on it, tell me what other tutorial would you like me to do. And the most important thing, subscribe to my channel because it really helps me a lot and there's more videos coming.